Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a manicure for a friend. Um, on Instagram, one of my dear friends, Manny Paws, made a post that they had just got some devastating news. That her husband had been diagnosed with esophageal cancer. So, some of the girls together here on um, YouTube and Instagram are getting together to do manicures um, to uh, show awareness, um, to so show support to Manny Paws, um, and, and we're all going to keep our fingers crossed and hope that her husband's treatment goes really, really well and he gets better soon. Um, but Manny Paws has been following me for almost as long as I've had a channel. She's just a sweet, sweet gal, and um, she doesn't make videos on YouTube, but she does post her mani manicures on Instagram. I will leave her link down below. She does some of the most amazing and fantastic manicures you'll ever see. So I hope you go and check out her, um, her, her manicures on her page. Um, today I'm going to, we're, we're doing purple because that's the color for awareness. And I have got on my base coat which I was, I'm using this um, Starting Over by American Classics. It's for after artificial and gel nails. I'm giving that a shot. And um, on my base is Glam Polish. And this is For the Stranded Witch or Wizard. It's just crazy pretty. Today I'll also be using this Kiss Gel Strong. And this one is called Happiness. This is one that my friend Cherie sent me. I'm also going to be using this Bundle Monster plate. It's plate number 321. It's got the awareness ribbons on it. I've got an old AliExpress stamper and my Beauty Big Bang scraper. And um, I'm going to stamp. I've already done my thumb and you can barely see it. I'm hoping after I top coat it, it'll pop a little better. But I'm going to put that same image on my ring finger. And in honor of Manny Paws, um, she's like the water marbling queen. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of water marbling here in just a little bit on the other nails. So let's go ahead and quit rambling and get to stamping. Now, this is not a stamping polish, but as many of you guys know, a lot of regular polishes work great for stamping. So here we go. There we go. So I'm hoping that these will pop a little better after I do my top coat. And if not, I will uh, go in with something and kind of maybe trace out the designs. Because I'm not really good at freehand, but, you know, um, we uh, when, when we have a pattern like this, we as in me, I can like sometimes follow it a little bit. Maybe not perfect. But today I'm going to be water marbling. I'm going to have to get my fingertips ready. I'm going to be using this Kiss Gel Strong, same polish I just used, called Happiness. I'll also be using Dainty Digits Clearly Marvelous. And this is now Baby Girl Lacquer. And it's just the clear for water marbling. And I'll be using the Protect Peel from IMK to protect around my fingernails. Or my fingers. <laughs> And I'll just be using um, regular old tap water. It's been sitting out in my room, so it's room temperature. But I'm going to get ready, and we're going to do a little bit of water marbling. I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to get ready and build our bullseye. Now today I'm just using a little clear plastic cup that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, not any rhyme or reason to that. I just thought I would give it a try. I do run that toothpick around the cup to help you know, bring the polish all the way out to the edge. And I'm just putting in drops of the purple and drops, oh, <laughs> drops of the clear. Just spilt some on the side of the bottle. Yep, you could see that. Couldn't tell if it was in frame or not. So we'll definitely have to clean that up. I give it a little tap, made that spread a little bit more. I'm going to do one more of the purple, and then we're going to start drawing in a design. And I didn't really have anything planned. I just wanted to make sure to do a little bit of water marbling. 
and go up to the one side, and there we go. <clears throat> and you guys know I love the little, like, chevron look. It's just one of my favorites. I don't know why I'm drawn to it. So we're going to go ahead and just dip in. Start trying to clean up some of this excess polish. And if it's drying on you, you can blow on it. Like that, real light, and it'll help make it dry faster so you can get it all cleaned up and out of the, out of the way. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, now I like to bust the seal on my water marble, um, just in case, because um, I have had it pull up before. So I like to just kind of go around the nail and make sure that I've got it you know, somewhat broken, broke that seal. There we go. Getting all crazy. There we go. That turned out really good. I'm taking it. All right, we're going to repeat that same process. Let's start with the purple. And let's get it to the edge. I really do like this. Now somebody asked me the other day if you have to have a special clear for water marbling, like this Clearly Marvelous. Necessarily, you do not have to have a special one. They do seem to work a little bit better, but I have good luck. I've had good luck in the past with um, the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Um, it's, I think it's cleared for takeoff. That's worked out really well. And then there was an OPI top coat that I used one time that worked really well. Um, but, you know, just play with it and see what works for you. And uh, if you hear snoring, Cotton is in here with me. He is, <laughs> he is resting. <laughs> so, there we go. We've got another one ready. I'm not used to using this kind of cup. It seems to be working pretty well. I do have some air bubbles. There we go. Another successful water marble. Another dip. So. I'm just going up under this latex and just pulling it till it snaps. Because that's how I do. And there we go. All right, one more. We're going to do this pinky, and then this, this part of it will be done. We'll have to do some cleanup and some top coat. There we go. Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating. I get a little quiet sometimes. <laughs> That's not really why I do voiceovers, but I don't have the luxury of that at this point, so I just needed to get this one recorded, and I know that when I do straight recordings like this that my videos are normally longer, and I apologize for that, but we got to do what we got to do. I'm going to put in another drop because that didn't open up quite well. There we go. And there we go last drop. So we're going to draw in the design again. There we go. I wiped my toothpick off on the paper towel in between every swipe or every other swipe just to, you know, make sure I'm not making a mess in with my water marble. Dip. Run that toothpick around, 
to get some of that excess up. And I'm seeing a very nice big water bubble there pop. Go back in. There we go. There it is. I'll get this cup out of my way. And just like before, I'm going to run this toothpick around, break that seal, and then we're going to snap this one off. Alrighty, so there we go. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do some cleanup and then we're going to top coat and uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I have decided to use this fun lacquer and this is 24 karat diamond H. It's a beautiful silver hollow and I am going to just kind of fill in a little bit of this um, ribbon. Just the main ribbon, just the big one. Um, I didn't want to cover it up with anything, really, I didn't want to cover it up, but um, it just wasn't popping enough for me. So I've decided to just fill in just that main one. And like I said, having a kind of a guide, something that I could follow, really helps me with that. So there we go. Gorgeous. Love it. Alright, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and I'm going to come back and top coat. I'll be right Okay, I'm going to top this one with some Fast and Hard today and this is from Vibrant Bonnels. Um, I've been using the mess out of it a lot here lately. I really do like it. Um, it's a really good top coat. So I'm going to seal this design in with this today. Being sure to cap my free edge. Oh, that's just so pretty. for the glitter bomb here. So like I said, this is a manicure that is done in um, hoping that we can bring some awareness to esophageal cancer and in support of my friend Manny Paws. And uh, I love it when the nail community just pulls together and we try to help uplift um, one of our own, one of our peeps. So um, hopefully Jennifer will get to see all these and um, she'll know that she's loved and supported. And, uh, and here's my little um, piece to it. So I want to thank you all for watching. Like I said, I'll have a link for Jennifer's channel on Instagram down below. I would really appreciate you dropping by and showing her some love. And let me just tell you, you're not going to be disappointed because she has some gorgeous manicures her happy place too. So that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.